So the version two high wind dire wolf overdrive. If you guys remember, I demoed the first version of the dire wolf a little while back. It was a pretty cool drive. Now this one is the new and improved version. Now they're not going to be worlds apart. What he changed on it was he added a little bit more onto the low end and high end. If you wanted to dial that in or out, that way you could have a wider, thicker or brighter sound or both. And I definitely appreciate that. This thing definitely felt chunkier than the first one, and I like that because it was a lot more aggressive, and as you heard from that in-mix, hit the front end of my 5150-350S real good. Now, there's not much left to say that I haven't already said about this thing. This thing is a fantastic utilitarian Swiss Army knife of a pedal. You can use this in just about any pedal or amp setup, and because of all the different features, dial it in for something really awesome. So we're going to hear this outside of a mix now. We're going to have it hit the blue channel on my 5153S. We're going to have it hit the front end of my Mesa Dual Rectifier and my Ford Cali. And while I'm playing with the switches and stuff and the knobs, I'm going to put up on the screen what I'm doing and what each one does so it's not confusing. Definitely be hard with the blackout. The blackout looks awesome, but it definitely, definitely was a challenge to shoot. Alright, so as you're able to hear, this thing has a lot of different sounds in it and a lot of different tone sculpting capability. And it definitely does as advertised. It's a great modern metal boost. I'm going to have links for this down below. Thanks for watching. Stay metal.